I wasn't going to make this video because I thought it was clickbait trash, those videos. But my curiosity got the better of me after I saw a video linked in the description down below by one of the Drunken Peasants fans. And I thought to myself, why the fuck not? Go on, Jenny. Let's go for round two. Have you got anything better to throw at us? Really ho there. Sup ho? I just thought I'd pop in and address a few things before work. Because I have a job. For now, Jenny. For now. You have a job for now. Considering how public your sacking was the last time, I'm surprised companies now are eager to hire someone like you. But I know where you're going with this. Yeah, I know where you're going with this. I'm not some 40-year-old man like the Amazing Atheist sitting at a computer all day, pausing old videos of me looking for a well-poisoning thumbnail. He's 30 or 31. You are what, 33? He's younger than you. Hell, he even looks younger than you. But it's not hard to look younger than you. And it's funny because that's exactly what you did for a couple of months until you got your job. This is what a lot of people do on both sides. But why should I get into spoilers territory, people, already? Let's just see the bitch continue. That he can put up, that he distorts my eye. So people go, oh, who is this ugly woman? Oh. Love, even without the photoshopping, that's what most people, other than fucking men's rights Edmonton, for some reason, why do you find her so attractive anyway? Think about you. Oh, who's this ugly feminazi bitch who keeps pre pretending to be harassed? Who keeps trying to harass other people, funnily enough. False flags people, doxes people, and claims to DMCA people. But doesn't, because she knows she hasn't got a leg to stand on and she's worried about getting sued. But then again, you don't have any money to sue, so really, I don't see the point. We all hate her now. We have, what, two, three years of content from you to, to hate you anyway, regardless. Anyone who's not heard of you will hate you because they will see and they can watch the videos as we link them down below, a lot of us, for themselves how horrible you are. And no, these are not some mindless, brainless fools like you like to make out who just go, oh, I hate them because Amazing Atheist said so. No. These are people who have come to the conclusion through your history, but hey... Whatever. What do I know, eh? I'm just that spurg who, like, exposes you. Um, yeah, I have a job. Have you had a job in the past three years that I've been on YouTube? Yeah, it's called being a YouTube content creator, Jenny. That's his job. It's so funny that you criticise him for not having a proper job, but you will go high mighty how you've got a normal job yet he doesn't. Yet some of your heroes don't have normal jobs either. Namely a certain, um, uh, <coughs> sleep, 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 sleep. sorry there's something in my throat. I, I, I think I'm, I ate too many shives uh, for, for tea last night. Uh, and, and, uh, and yes, <coughs> uh, again, I'm so sorry. Uh, I think I had too much Armenian takeaway last night. But hey, what do I know? But yeah, uh, your heroes don't have normal jobs. Uh, they they just do it all on the internet. Have you ever been gamefully employed in your life? If you actually watch what he does, rather than, you know, just make silly assertions, you will know that he has told many stories about old jobs that he's done. There was once something that he did where he was working for his dad, and he was working in an office, and he got sexually harassed by one of the female co-workers. And I think that's the last job he did properly, but bear in mind he was 16 years old. But hey, hey, you know what? You know what? He doesn't have a proper job. He's obviously a deadbeat. But hey, what do we know? What do we know? I'm sure he's had other jobs in the intervening years. But I just, you know, let's just go with your assertions that he's never had a job, but now he has a job. But hey, being a YouTube content creator is not a job unless you're ideologically the same as me. I'm wondering, because all I see is you sitting at home all day, probably in pyjamas, which you pass off as just this once, but you wear every single day as regular clothes, and you entertain children online. Oh, that's so funny, because that's exactly what Lacey Green does. Only her audience are actually children. What's also funny is that's what Onision does. 
and his audience are also actually children. The amazing atheist, he caters to an audience that are mostly uh, like in their 20s till their 30s, 40s and beyond even. And that's my audience too. Because for some reason, anti-feminists seem to attract a more mature audience. Although it can be debated if being in your 20s is mature, but it's definitely more mature than someone in their teens. I'd like to know what your audience demographics are. That would be really interesting because it would really, really, really be a little bit cheap for you to then criticise The Amazing Atheist, wouldn't it? But hey, whatever. The mental ages of your audience suggest to me that they're just men and women children. See, I could do the same thing. I can assert about somebody's audience. Um, I know it's just children because no respectable grown adult on YouTube has ever copped to watching a single one of your videos. Well, Jenny McDermott is a god. She's omnipresent, omnipotent, and all-knowing. She knows absolutely everything. She knows for damn sure that not a single adult would ever watch The Amazing Atheist, even though I'm... Um, 22 years old, but remember people, because I have a high voice and I've got Asperger's Syndrome, therefore I am a child. I am like 16 years old to these people. Remember that, okay? I don't count. And never mind the fact that Razor Fist will occasionally watch The Amazing Atheist and appear on The Drunken Pe Peasants. All these other adults who appear on The Drunken Peasants who watch him, all the people who are patrons who can actually afford to pay their wages and be uh, and be charitable you know you can't be a child and do that but you know what they're all children because remember we live in the victorian era where children work for a living so what is it that you call a person who entertains children all day a children's entertainer oh yeah a clown oh sick burn sick burn i've not heard that one before yeah even though clowns also entertain adults I mean, David Bowie dressed as a clown once. I wouldn't say Tim Curry was entertaining children when he was playing Pennywise, but hey, what do I know? You do that for money. Um, what is it with these SJWs? Why do they always have to like say, oh, you make money off of YouTube, therefore you're wrong and immoral and you entertain children? Yeah, clowns also have a wage. Your own heroes make fucking money. Steve Shives has a Patreon. Neil Sarkeesian makes money off this. Rebecca Watson. All these different people. Just take a look at one of Agent of Doubt's videos where he talks about the Patreon thing and how they're all paying each other and have, have, have this whole ring or something. All your heroes are on there and they're all doing the immoral things of paying each other a dollar and it circles around. Look, I'll put the video in the description. But yeah, all your SCW people there who make money are there. Yeah, it's okay for them to make money and to unscrupulously... Uh, make each other funds on Patreon, but hey, whatever. We're the ones who are in the wrong for even daring to turn on the ads. What else you do for money is you use videos of mine in yours, uh, and those videos belong to me because I created them. So we're finally getting to DMCA, are we? Right, yeah, I'm waiting for this. I was like, yeah, we've had like one or two minutes of just complete utter bullshit. You're one of those people who just takes so long to get to the point. Which is hypocritical because I'm one of them, but at least when I do it, I'm actually on point. But I need to get to the point at the end. But whatever. Hey guys. Hey. And obviously, she hasn't heard of fair use either. But yeah, she has clearly because... Uh, otherwise, we'd be also DMCAing her by her logic. And, you know, I do appreciate the few views here or there I get when you harass me. Yeah, because doxing, harass... <laughs> yeah, because doxing, false flagging, harassing people on Twitter, actual harassment, and hacking people's accounts is totally not harassment. But video responses to Steve Shives... And other, and other, you know, responses to you like this is totally harassment. Yeah, totally, totally, yeah. Uh, yeah, you're right, Jenny. But you're harassing me at the level that you're at, which is still like a D-list YouTuber. No, you see, 
he's at B list level. Hell, he's probably A list level in in regards to where he is in which community he is in. I know PewDiePie is an atheist, but he is not an atheist YouTuber in the sense that he makes videos about atheism. He doesn't. He makes his own type of videos. But as an actual person who has made videos on atheism and the stuff that we talk about, he's the biggest. He literally has a million subs, almost, if you put together those who are subbed to the Drunken Peasants. Although there's probably overlap. He's A-list, uh, by comparison to all of us. I mean, maybe to the other people overall on YouTube, he's probably about B. But D-list? You are the D-list. You're not even D-list. You are just, like, no-list, because you're such a nobody. I mean, I'm a nobody, but at least I'm a respected nobody. Um, you have a bigger platform than I do, so that has kept me from making any money on YouTube. Fuck off, Jenny. Just because he's bigger doesn't mean you can't make money off YouTube. Look, the reason you don't make proper money off of YouTube is simple. Nobody likes you, hardly any anybody even watches you, and you have a Patreon that's very small, but it's probably about as much you're going to get for your size. So I don't know what you're complaining about. Again, you're just plucking things out of thin air. Look, just because he's big doesn't mean that he's taking money off you. No, if you were to do what anybody else would do, you'd just make videos and monetize it, wait till you get more subs, and then tell them, oh yeah, I've got a Patreon, would you like to be my patrons if you have the money? I guarantee you'd make money that way. In fact, if you were just a little bit more of a decent human being and had a shred of self-respect, maybe you'd also be making much more money and having much more subscribers. Maybe I wouldn't have overtaken you as quickly as I have done. But I'm not here to play a popularity game. I'm just here to tell you that you're full of shit. And you're full of shit. It doesn't matter where you are in, in the YouTube community. The opportunity is there to be a full-time YouTuber. Just because there are people bigger than you doesn't mean that you cannot be as big, if not bigger, or at least make a living out of it. There's literally no excuses. These people don't steal your audiences. They can present a whole new audience. You can have a shared audience. And uh, you're harassing me. You're really beginning to sound so stereotypical, yet you accuse us of doing that. You all accuse us of saying, oh, it's just a typical anti-feminist talking points. You are literally a walking stereotype at this point. Please, nobody is harassing you, and you know it. While using my content, and keeping me from making any money myself. Nobody is stopping you from making money. They're using your content fairly because it's transformative. He is using it for criticism. And even then, it was using you as a criticism of Steve Shives. So you can't really talk. Really, you're clutching at straws at the best. So I'm DMCAing videos that you have that feature me, that you're making money off of. The bark is scarier than the bite, people. The bark is scarier than the bite. Maybe this is what this drama will be called. Jenny McDermott, the bark is scarier than the bite. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. DMCA him. DMCA me. And see what's going to happen. Because, yeah, um, you're going to have two angry YouTubers against you. So... Say goodbye to YouTube, probably, because you won't have enough time to go on YouTube while you're trying to pay for your legal fees. Look, we all know this is just a stupid threat, an empty threat, that you've pulled so many times. I am not stupid, TJ is not stupid, and you, well, yeah, you are stupid, but you got some brain cells. You wouldn't even dare. You wouldn't even try it. You've never tried it. You're full of shit. You're an attention seeker. You are just basically that hoverfly. like, careful, I'm a bee, I might sting you, but really, it won't. I think one of your videos featuring me had like 300,000 views. So I DMCA'd those. The DMCAs will go through. You say that you haven't seen it yet, but they will go through. Well, show us. You're the one telling us that you did. The burden of proof is not on TJ or me or anybody but you. You have to give us the screenshots, or an OBS thing of showing your camera, come on, show us, because there is no DMCA, there's no DMCA here to be seeing people, she's just lying, she's just trying to look tough, 
I guess you could say it's an attention-seeking thing, but hey, you know what? I like covering her too, because because it's entertaining. And I, for one, love poning idiots like her. Yeah, I admit it. Sometimes ponage is something that I like to do. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. But hey, whatever. I think we should get back on topic. Yes, Jenny, where were we? Um, you're no different than any other YouTuber. You can't just take copyrighted material and then use the entirety of it in your video. He didn't actually, funnily enough. I don't think he actually used that much footage of you. He used a picture of you. But, hey, whatever. There's literally no video that he has done of you on Drunk the Drunken Peasants or the Amazing Atheist channel or on my channel that I've done or anybody where they've just uploaded your content unless it's like a mirror channel which technically is against the rules but you know what are you gonna do you're gonna sue them go and get them they're the ones actually breaking the youtube terms of service we're not we're using fair use we're using a transformative work we're creating something different out of your videos so you can't really label that on the other hand the skeptic feminist actually did this to me i did a a joke video of them when they banned me for a couple of days or a week or something, how long, however, however long it was, and they mirrored the video with my, without my permission. They uploaded it onto their channel. Now, I didn't DMCA them because I'm not a dick, although I was well within my rights to because they didn't ask my permission to mirror it and barked at the idea that they had to ask because... For some reason, social justice warriors apparently don't know the rules, but hey, it doesn't apply to them anyway, unless it's grave, like what you, like you, but, you know, even YouTube had to terminate that account. Wow, calling me a bitch, talking about my appearance, saying you would never fuck me, disgusting shit like that. Which he never said, he just criticised what you did and what Steve Shives did defending you, but you know what, I'd love to stay in chat, Jenny, but this video is really dragging on, and I know what you're like. You like us to go through the entire video, so you won't DMCA us, but you know what, I'm not going to go through the entire video. Yeah, it, it is to spite you, but come on. This is transformative. I didn't use the whole video. See, it used to be different. It used to be that we have to go through your entire video, otherwise you DMCA us. But now, if we do use the entire video without your permission, we're going to DMCA. So here I am, using a little bit of your video, or at least most of it, three quarters. And what are you going to do, Jenny? I know I'm tempting the hand of fate, but I don't give a shit. What are you going to do? So, I'm laying down the gauntlet. Take the criticism and do what normal people do, good people, and make a video back, or you can do what you want to do, or at least what you're saying to do. You're going to walk the walk, or you're going to talk the talk. You can only choose one. Bye, Jenny.